Good afternoon, people watching. I'm 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you a verse of scripture. It's in Ephesians 3.20. Now, on, I think I gave you this before, but I love this verse. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. That's Holy Ghost power that work in us. Ephesians 3.20. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. I just got some disturbing news from Hal Turner here. It's not disturbing, but it's, it's not good. The gospel is in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved. By grace through faith in Christ alone, period. Not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something that we didn't earn, something that we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him will not perish, but have eternal life. Now, how do you, how do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ and his blood, the moment you accept Christ as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus. You are rapture ready, which is going to happen at any time. And you are sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you. The Holy Spirit will minister to you. The Holy Spirit will teach you, speak to you. The Holy Spirit will change you. That's what he does. Um, so a German army tank crew. A German army tank crew. I had to look at this twice. Caught operating a tank in Ukraine. Attacking the Russian army. Now, when I saw this, I'm like, Okay, <laughs> this is not right. I, I I'm, yeah. So, it appears, <laughs> he starts off by saying, it appears that World War III has officially begun. Saturday morning, the Russian, oh, and Happy Catterday, by the way. Saturday morning, the Russian army engaged in a German-supplied leopard tank operating for the Ukraine army in Zaporozhye. The Russians hit the tank with an anti-tank guided missile. The tank blew up, of course. The tank crew evacuated and were captured. The crew identified themselves as active duty, active duty German army troops. Thus, the actual army of Germany has now been caught waging actual war against Russia inside official Russian territory, which is Zaporozhye. The above image, and there's an image here, is the actual tank involved in the actual incident. This came out this morning. Now, <laughs> if this is the case, uh, NATO has actually started WW3 using the active duty German army to attack Russians. Now, there is an update here. Now, it is, and this update came out less than an hour ago. It says that details are emerging and it is now confirmed. A Russian army reconnaissance team destroyed a German tank's, uh, a German supplied leopard tank of the Ukrainian military, but uh, manned with crew comprised of. Um, I 
I can't pronounce this word, is uh, Bundeshire soldiers, something like that. And it says that the Bundeshire is the actual active duty army of Germany. This took place in Zaporochi this morning. So the members of the actual Russian recon team directly and personally involved in the incident has started the following. It says, when we curbed another offensive, an ATGM destroyed with anti-tank guided missile, the Leopard, we moved out to the burned vehicle, hopping, or uh, sorry, hopping, hoping to seize, uh, seize it. Then we saw that the crew's driver mechanic or the mechanic of the crew was severely injured and the others were dead. Once he awoke, the mechanic started yelling in German, do not shoot. The head of the reconnaissance team said, this is what they said. So the mechanic repeatedly stated that he was not a mercenary, but a serviceman and that he and the rest of the crew were members of the same unit of the German, German army. The Russian fighter said, adding that while receiving medical aid, the German soldier named his brigade and its dislocation site. The tank driver died, uh, died of course. Now, this also just came out. Now, he just did an update on this. Um... It is the position of the Russian Federation that the citizens of Zaporozhye voted in a public referendum on September 27th of last year to succeed from Ukraine and to join Russia. The referendum passed with 93% of the citizens vote. On, on, 20, on September 27th, Russian officials revealed that Zaporozhye's a blast referendum passed in favor of joining the Russian Federation. Three days later, on September 30th, 2022, Russia signed an Ascension Treaty with the administration of this of the region, thus making Zaporozhye actual territory of Russia. I did a video on this last year. You remember when I did this. This morning, it's this is going on to say here, this morning a German tank operating on Russian territory in Zaporozhye, manned by a German army tank crew, was engaged by Russian army forces and destroyed. At least one tank crew member admitted that he and his crew were German army active duty members. Therefore, since an active duty German army tank crew was operating a tank in hostilities on Russian territory, this is an official act of war by Germany against Russia. And that's what it says there. This is from the Russian government. Now, he goes on to say, it's not known what Russia plans to do. They have, they may give an ultimatum to avoid a direct war, or they may simply announce that direct war is now in effect. America American and NATO intel are monitoring everything right now. Now, don't ask me why they don't put this on lamestream media, because they will never do that. They just won't do that. They're too busy talking about the Kardashians and everything else that's going on. This is what's going on right now. If this is the case, and this is what I'm looking at right now, it's, I don't know what's going to happen here, but this is not good. Um, 
Again, American and NATO intel are monitoring everything inside Russia to detect any hint of population evacuations, government official evacuations, or the opening and entry of citizens into evacuation shelters. So far, there's nothing. Not yet. But of course, this just, this just started. Like I said, when I saw this, I had to reread this because this was like, you've got to be kidding me. I'm going to link it in the description box and I'm going to be watching this and watching for it throughout the day because um, I'm looking at RT and I don't, I don't see anything yet. But I will let you know. Thank you.